word that comes to mind when thinking about my experience at Westchester would be fulfilling. I know it's like a cliche, but like definitely growth. I would say home. I have grown and gained so much personally, emotionally, and academically and professionally. The growth like was like exploding, like reflecting on that to like who I am today. Um, I think like growth is like the best way to describe it. I feel really comfortable here and I love all the friends that I've made here and the memories that I've made here. There's like so many like memorable moments. I actually met my fiance in grad school here. Her name is Kara Fordenbacher. Um, we we're both in the HAPSA program together. So we met virtually first because <laughs> we started on Zoom. And then that relationship formed into this really special friendship. And then once she moved up here from Florida, um, grew into something more amazing than I could have ever imagined. Um, she just became my person and my best friend and was not expecting that. I didn't come out until I started grad school and Westchester, specifically HAPSA, gave me that space to feel like I could finally embrace this part of myself that I had been hiding for, I mean, 23 years. And being able to then share that experience with her and to be graduating with her and starting this next chapter of our life together is just, I am so excited and so grateful. My most memorable or lasting experience at Westchester was probably the first time I ever came to the center. They had a welcoming to open up the center and this was in 2018 and I was really nervous and my mentor was trying to convince me to come up so I came up for a little bit and I ended up meeting one of my best friends, Yami, um, who worked at the center at the time and we were friends all through undergrad and we ended up going to grad school in the same exact program. And I will always remember the center and Yami from that moment. Um, a memorable moment would be like our conferences, the conferences that we were um, able to attend during our time. And being able to not only like explore our identity like amongst ourselves, but like getting to meet like other students like from other universities and like other scholars and like connect with them in that way. Um, and also just like branching out outside of Westchester and like field trips were always fun and like grade school so like getting to do this in like this setting is also super duper fun um, and just like getting to like spend time with each other within like these specifically intentional spaces and like getting to learn and grow with each other um, and other students like us outside of Westchester I think has been like super memorable I loved it one piece of advice that I'll take with myself to my next journey is that if there's not space for you that there's always ways to create your own I feel like if half of the schools and universities have done what Westchester has in creating a sense of community that colleges and universities would be a lot better off and the students would feel a lot more comfortable and happier. So that's something I'm going to take away as a student affairs professional in everything I do and making sure that everyone has a place that they can feel at home and express themselves. One, trust the process. I know that's like a very like cliche thing um, to say, but definitely like trust the process in terms of like, I know like it's very easy like once you get into like this new setting like this new part of your life to like jump in and just be like I want to figure out my identity right now like I want like to like have everything sorted out and like that's like yes like absolutely I totally understand but I think that it's something something to remember something that's important to remember is like being able to trust the process and that being patient with like yourself like your law you're learning this is a huge like transitionary period in your life so making sure that like you're taking the time to like explore yourself and like there's no rush um, at the end of the day like you are who you are and like I think part of being true to who you are is like trusting that this is a process in and of itself. Just just be you and the spaces exist for you to be queer and to be proud. Utilize the Center for Trans and Queer Advocacy. It is an amazing resource for you that you can use and you can navigate figuring out who you are. Um, and also my advice is know that coming out and embracing who you are can take time and everyone does it on at different spaces. I didn't come out until I was 23. I had known since I was like 12. So, and I didn't, I waited. So your timeline is your own and you can honor that as well. Use the spaces and the supports on your own time and don't compare your queer experience to anybody else's because you are your own unique person and your journey is just as beautiful as someone else's.
get involved and you have a place here and you have a community that loves you and welcomes you and you just have to get involved and throw yourself out there because that's the only way you're going to make friends and make memories. Even if it's really nerve wracking, you should make friends because there's a lot of them here to be made. Being thankful and grateful for like everything like the center has done for me and like LGBTQA services as a whole like I know like I've been here a very long time um, even before the center was created and like just like I was looking through like my old pictures because I'm trying to look like clean up my phone um, and I just have like pictures from back when we were just like a little closet in the wall um, and seeing like where we are today like I'm just so grateful for like the people that have helped us like come to like develop a center that like helps students not only like move but like future generations to come. Thank you to CTQ way for creating this space, this community, and and thank you to HEPSA. I wouldn't have, I don't think, come out if it weren't for HEPSA. I wasn't, I didn't have that space, and they gave me that space. So. <laughs> I think that if I, if younger me saw like me today, she'd be astounded. She'd be so happy.